Sophia Cruz with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Friday Eve is here and 6.15 is your time right now and I'm taking you to Twin Falls where it's a beautiful and bright start to the day. Now, temperatures are also on the cooler side in this area. It's going to be a nice morning for a walk or even a jog if you're heading to that workout class. Good for you. Starting the day off right. Temperatures in our valley floors are brushing towards the 60s at the moment and in our mountains a little on the cooler side. Some 50s and 40s hanging around. So if you are in these areas, maybe just a light jacket, but I doubt you'll even want one because by this afternoon we're going to get nice and and toasty. We have this upper level ridge building in our atmosphere and this high pressure causes all that nice warm air mass to sink and because of that some areas are seeing some heat advisories, excessive heat warnings and well let me show you the temperatures here. I don't want to scare you but it's definitely ramping up on the west coast. We've got 107 in Phoenix, 102 in Tucson and taking a look around the rest of the area some 107s hanging out and 104s. Now these are some very, very hot temperatures. Luckily, send some prayers and blessings to them. Hope, pray for them because that's very warm. But for us, we're going to be sitting on the 80s going into the back half of the day, 80s and 90s. So if you're looking to avoid that warmer weather, the morning is going to be the best time to do so. Not going to be a great time for an afternoon jog. It's going to be nice and toasty by then. And well, temperatures are remaining a little on the toastier side going into the weekend too. We don't really get much relief. If anything, we are seeing a warm up today for what's coming this weekend because 93 today, 96 tomorrow and Saturday 98. Now we do go above our average about 16 degrees by Saturday when we're nearing 100 degrees. So if you are having any outdoor activities that day, your best bet is going to be for the morning, especially when it's starting to get a lot warmer than just 98. Now today, uh, it's going to be really important to stay hydrated and continue wearing your sunscreen. That UV is going to about a six. And so with that, about 15 minutes to burn between noon and two. So don't want to sunburn. You want to make sure you have a great start to what's almost going to be summer pretty soon. And right now with temperatures starting to warm, we are still seeing that threat of showers. So let's talk about why we have some moisture in the mid-level atmosphere pushing in and well, so could bring some showers to Silver City and maybe some stronger storms pushing to Burley and Pomerel. If you do get one of these, I would expect winds to pick up about wind gusts being between 50 to 60 miles per hour, if anything. And that's if you get one of these stronger storms. But a lot of it is focused toward those southern areas. And well, we do have a chance of evening storms almost every day through the weekend. So we just have to keep our eyes peeled for those. But temperatures today in the 90s, there are those light showers continuing to pass through. Still going to be lots of nice, beautiful weather going into the weekend. Those evening showers are going to happen because that sunshine drives an energy for them. And so that's why we're seeing them so late in the day. But Saturday, 98, going to be the hottest day and that cold front comes in. And well, temperatures really not cooling down much. Summer is about to start ramping up the heat. I'll keep you updated right here throughout the morning. Remember to take care of yourself and others, especially staying hydrated is going to be the most important. But for now, let's cruise on over to traffic.